The whole world we live in is in a constant state of decay. This is the way it's been for so long, surrounded by evil. It's a struggle. The book of Job is said to be the oldest book in the Bible. Our struggle isn't new, but today we are fortunate in Christ. John 16, 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Belief in Jesus unto salvation is a simple belief, a simple faith. I firmly believe the best way forward is also in faith. Jesus speaks repeatedly about the importance of faith, and I believe it's for good reason. We wonder why God allows the world as it is. Why does it seem we struggle so much, and why is so much evil allowed? I've considered it for a long time, and I'm convinced at least part of the reason is that he wants us to have faith in him and his promises and that our faith is that valuable to him. God can do everything with or without us, but I believe he's involved us for the reason of our faith so we can know in part the things of God, the kingdom of God. The truth of Christ and his gospel made manifest in us is in conflict with the decay of this world and there will be a separation. We can't continue here. Every day I fight with a faith I've, be I've become rooted in. I've dug in my heels and I'm insistent for all of us in the body of Christ. God will work things out for us and fight for us and with us. God is on our side and he has good things for us. All of the power of the enemy against us is stopped. We are healed, whole and healthy and Christ is being made manifest in us now. I have no doubt Jesus will come and get us. I can't say exactly when, but we know it's closer and closer. Each day I believe it's now, and tomorrow if I wake up again, it will still be now. It will be now until Christ is made manifest in us all. We're told to seek the kingdom of God, so seek. We're told to ask and have faith, so ask and have faith. I believe God is waiting for us. He's waiting for our faith. Concerning the rapture, I believe God knows and has planned everything, and our faith is given to us by God, and I believe he's arranged everything now for his purpose, including our faith, and it plays a role, and it's important to God. However much or little faith you feel you have, I'd encourage you to persist in it as you feel led. I've seen God do things even when I'm not looking, seemingly with little or no faith, and other times with just a tiny bit of faith, and sometimes it seems to take a lot of faith. It's a fight, and I don't see faith as a quantity or as some unit of exchange. However much or little, it's important to God, so we'll learn what he wants us to learn and witness what he wants us to witness. If we'll use it, he says, well done, good and faithful servant, and he gives us more. Now is the time to dig in your heels. Feel your hands tightly clenching the sword of faith that you're fighting with alongside God himself and his angels, and don't let go. If your hands cramp up from fighting day and night, they'll keep holding on. They have no choice but to, unable to let go. Romans 8, 18 through 22, this is the amplified version. For I consider from the standpoint of faith that the sufferings of the present life are not worthy to be compared with the glory that is about to be revealed to us and in us. For even the whole creation, all nature, waits eagerly for the children of God to be revealed. For the creation was subjected to frustration and futility, not willingly because of some intentional fault on its part, but by the will of him who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will also be freed from its bondage to decay and gain entrance into the glorious freedom of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation has been moaning together as in the pains of childbirth until now. John 11:25 and 26 Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? And Luke 10:19, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, 
and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Have faith in God.